What's up, everybody? I recently wrote a blog post about how practice is the key to good technique. And today, I want to discuss one of the most important aspects of that practice you need to be doing. That is reading hard parts earlier. It's not exactly just reading ahead. We've all had the thing where the teacher puts the piece of paper over the music and forces us to read much earlier. This usually leads to chaos. It's getting at the right idea, but it's not quite what I'm talking about. When you read ahead, you actually solve technical problems without even realizing it. This is what all of the best players are doing. So you need to premeditate the hard parts sooner, allowing more time for your body to process it and get in position. Start reading the hard parts one group ahead. If the hard part is in B3, the moment you articulate B2, your eyes need to be on B3 and you need to have begun processing it. In the past, I was really slow at learning technical passages. I would dwell and worry and wonder if I had read a beat correctly, and then I'd read the next beat a split second before it happened, rather than well in advance. In the past, I would also try to figure out exactly what the problem was and then remember to do it. For example, I knew to play this particular passage, I needed a certain domed hand position. My body knew this 100%, but if I read that beat a split second before, my body didn't have time to get there. If I forgot to implement the fix of a domed hand position, I was screwed. If I overthought it and I thought, is it, is it domed like this or like this or like this? I was screwed. But when I started reading ahead, my body had a full beat, a full unit of time to figure all of that out. And it went to that perfect domed hand position every time. It went without me even remembering. So if I forgot, I could feel my body going to that perfect hand position all on its own. This is what the best players are doing. Learn to trust your reading. Learn to read more clearly and efficiently so your eyes can move ahead a beat calmly and confidently. So that's it. Reading ahead is actually what you must solve and then habituate. When you solve it in hundreds of individual situations, then it will become a habit for you. If this was helpful, subscribe for more videos and let me know how this goes for you.